Hey there, YouTube. Team Social Link here. We're giving you a deck profile of one of my decks. Um, this is actually the deck that I've been li liking to play. Sure. It's uh, Shadow sure. Paladin's Revengers. Um, my starter is going to be Creeping Dark Goat. Um, I see people running. Um, I think it's Claudus, and Claudus and Dark Goat. But I just like Dark Goat in particular. Don't I don't know why. I just like that Grade Three Searcher, and plus I like Raging Form. But pretty much, you um, Counter Blast one. Put it into soul, search the top five cards for grade three, add that grade three to your hand, and it's also a four runner, so you're able to call it to any rear card circle. Good That's my uh, starter. And then we run the four heals. I would have never guessed. Four draws. Eight crits. That's the grade zeros. Onto the grade ones. We run. Happy Chocolate Bunny. Transcendent Revenger Masquerade. Transcendent. Transcendent, thank you. Um, the 10k attack when you have a Revenger, um, great um, Revenger Vanguard. No, this transient, unit. sorry, transient. Not transcendent. Transient, whatever once. <laughs> 10k Masquerade. 10k attacker when um, you have a Revenger, so when you attack, he becomes a 10k when he attacks. As long as you have Revenger. Um, I'm running two Revenger Dark Bond Trumpeter. Um, you count plus one, call a grade zero from your um, deck to rear card as rest. I use it for um, Raging Form Slaughter. One of my friends at um, our locals actually s said that that's what he's been doing. And I actually didn't think it was that good. And then all of a sudden I tried it out. It's been actually working very well. Granted, I, the, only time, with the only one that you really want to call with it. Is it draw trigger? Is a draw trigger, and if you have to, you could do a crit, but you never want to do a heal. Never want to do a heal. How uh, often do you get it off? A lot. Okay. Every single game, I always get Dark Trumpeteer off, no matter what. I'm trying to be out more. No, I understand. Four. Four Doreen. When a Blaster Dark Revenger is placed in front of him. Um, you get to um, flip one year damage. So pretty much it makes uh, Blaster Dark Revenger into a Counter Blast 1. Even though Blaster Blades Liberators is better when it comes out on BT uh, 15. And then the four Dark Revenger Mechlear, the perfect guards for Shadow Paladins. That's it for the Grade 1s. Can you take a second here to twos. talk about how buff Windall has gotten with Legion? Moving on. <laughs> Pretty sure that was a whole second, wasn't it? Three <laughs> Dark Cloak Revenger Tartus. Uh, pretty much when you play strong Vanguard or Rearguard, Counter Blast 2, call a Grade 1 or less Shadow Paladin Revenger from your deck in the back row of, um, into the back row of her. Uh, pretty much you want to, if you call her onto the Rearguard, you want to call she likes it in the back. a Doran so you can set up for those plays with a uh, Blaster Dark Revenger. And if you place it as a Vanguard, you want to call that behind you, um, so you have you, like um, sack. I, I noticed this a couple times. You wrote it as Vanguard, and you ended up having Dark Goat behind it. Mm -hmm. That kind of kills its ability, doesn't it? Sort of, but it really it doesn't really hurt it as much because you really sometimes you just want to call it if like she'd be probably coming out once I'm get Drag Ruler out because I'm probably going to take her out for the other one. Okay. So, but right now she's actually not doing that bad. No. Mm -hmm. Curiosity. Right. Nothing wrong with that. And then for the 12k attack for Revengers, um, That's Nullity cool. Revenger Masquerade. Oh, it's cool as shit. And then for Blaster Dark Revengers, um, pretty much when you call it to Rear Guard or Vanguard, Count Blast 2, retire front row unit of your opponents. Um, probably be coming out once Drag Ruler comes out, sadly, because you really don't need it in Drag Ruler. <laughs> it's a sad thing. Blaster. Yeah. Do you like um, that Blaster Dark better or the old school Blaster Dark better? Old school Blaster Dark was better okay. because you're able to retire back row and front row. Okay. This one's only front row, but I would rather it be as good. But at least this one, it's like any where you call a rear guard or a vanguard, so yeah. that's pretty much why it's okay. as okay. Then we're playing for the break ride. Um, Mordred Phantom? Yeah, Illusion Illusionary, Revenger, Mordred Phantom. Um, pretty much you ride over it. When you're in when we break four, Counter Blast 1, you have to get the Counter Blast 1 off for it to get to 10,000 power. And you search your deck for 
a grade two or less shadow paladin call it to a rear guard circle and that unit gets plus five thousand and then whenever this unit attacks a vanguard this unit gets plus um two thousand is um blaster blade your main target for that or should you main target it on masquerade blaster blade revenger I mean, blaster dark, I'm sorry. is sort of the main target if you have a door on the field but your main target sometimes is this so it really all depends really on who your main target is and how your field's set up as. Interesting. And then as my uh, my favorite choice, which I'm probably still going to be keeping, for Raging Forms. Um, pretty much Limit Break. It's the first of its kind. It's a Persona ride. It's Persona Superior ride, which is weird. Um, pretty much um, when you're at Limit Break, you attack... Doesn't matter if the tech hits or does not hit, you just have to sack three units, send them to the grave, have a copy of this in your hand, call it on top of your vanguard by as standing, and gets plus 10,000. Really broken because it gives you that extra twin drive, and it really pushes for games on a lot of people. Doesn't um, that Sing Saver Dragon or Thing Saver Dragon or whatever it's called do the same thing? Sort of. Um, pretty much you Soul Blast 2, Counter Blast 2. Counter Blast 2, Soul Charge, Soul, Soul Blast, Blast 2. 3, I thought. No, I think it was Soul Blast 2. Call Soul Saver, Seeker Soul Saving Dragon. I they've been mistranslating. Sing, whatever. Sing, yeah. Sing it, Saver Dragon it, from the deck? From the deck, ride it over it, and then you take that Blaster Blade that you're already in Legion with yeah. and Legion again. Yeah, yeah from the Soul. Was, yeah. You could pretty much do that effect twice a turn. Which, as long as well, you have cool. enough in the damage and enough in all that. Soul. And then its other ability is you counter blast one when this unit attacks gets plus three thousand, but you have to counter blast I think a revenger for it. I think. I don't think no. I've ever seen. No, anyone, it's actually not. I haven't seen anyone use that. I use it periodically. Um, only if I have to ride him with my vanguard and I don't have um him in this whole type of thing. And if for some reason you don't have a boost, or at least you can hit cross rides. Yes, that's another thing. That's why people really don't counter blast. They rather save. And a lot of times they save the counter blast for like your break rides or your dark trumpeter or uh, blaster. blaster dark or your tar um, tartus. Huh. But yeah, it's pretty much my deck um, profile for Shadow Paladins. It's probably going to be the deck that I'm going to be running in um, team leagues, which we are actually going to in um, June in um, where we're living in, jo in Ohio. The Columbus, shit, baby. The shithole of our. Um, you know what the good thing about Ohio is, yeah. people? The weather changes daily. The weather's on its mood swings right now. I love when I walk outside in shorts in the morning and then all of a sudden, an hour later, it's raining and then snowing. It's like, oh, God, I love Ohio. It's like yeah. we live in England. Yeah. Sorry for but, our European watchers. <laughs> anyways, that's my deck profile. Like, comment, subscribe. Team Social Link out. Love us.